and I'll uh, I'll go to the background and uh, I'll, I'll catch up later. Okay. So floor is yours. Thank you. Okay. I thank uh, just uh, uh, hi to Tom and Angelos. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Good morning. I don't know. It's uh, it's uh, it's night here. It's 9 p.m. in Italy. So I'm going to speak about the state of your node, uh, the latest release, and the ongoing development. Uh, as just uh, said, uh, I'm Alessio Fabiani from GeoSolutions. Uh, we prepared this uh, presentation along with Giovanni Allegri, which, which is also uh, part of the project steering committee. And uh, I also have to thank uh, a lot uh, uh, the other two members, the other three members, uh, uh, which are Francesco Bartoli, um, Florian uh, Gallenbaum, Gallenbaum, it's always difficult to pronounce, uh, and uh, Tony uh, Sochbringer, uh, which are uh, also part of the PSC. Uh, also, of course, I want to thank a lot uh, the PySW contributors because uh, as you might know, GeoNode relies a lot uh, for the metadata part and the catalog services on PySW. So we are uh, waiting for more updates, more releases, and see for what if we can somehow uh, bind a bit more together the two frameworks. Um, okay, so uh, GeoNode, a very quick introduction. It's uh, basically a web framework written in Python uh, based in Django currently, um, which uh, aims to uh, make uh, more easy for non GIS expert users to publish uh, special data sets uh, for the time behind uh, uh, from the web interface. You can upload simple, simple special data sets like shapefile, GOT, or stuff like that. But under the hood, uh, it relies uh, on a very powerful uh, um, uh, geospatial server, uh, which is uh, which is GeoServer. So uh, it potentially supports uh, every geospatial data set that uh, is supported by GeoServer. Um, the thing is, uh, uh, GeoNode uh, would like to, to, to provide a user-friendly interface uh, and also would like to add uh, um uh, a, a sort of uh, simple i would say in respect to by csw and your network is very simple uh, uh, layer of metadata um and, and mostly it wanted to make it easy to share the data uh, between the different users create maps uh, styling uh, there are several editors uh, uh, that you can access uh, directly through the web interface uh, uh, that that uh, do not require, uh, I would say, a, a deep knowledge uh, of the uh, that geospatial standards and the OGC standards. Um, okay, let's move on with the presentation. I'm going to present you the latest um, updates on your node. I'm not focusing on the, uh, let's say, standard uh, uh, things that your, your node does. Uh, okay, just a few words about us, uh, our company, we are actually located in Italy and also in the USA, and we um, provide support for those uh, main um, uh, open source uh, projects, uh, your server, map storage, your node, and your network. Uh, but also we, of course, strongly support open source in general. Uh, we actively participate in the OGC working groups. Um, and we support uh, standards, of course, uh, uh, critical to the GeoInt. Okay, so let's move on with the GeoNode. So this is just um, um, a quick overview of the current, uh, current release. So the latest stab stable release of GeoNode is uh, uh, the version 3.2.1, uh, which has been released on July. Uh, but uh, we are almost ready to uh, ship, uh, hopefully, uh, in the mid during the mid of October, uh, the ad other two uh, releases, uh, the 3.2.2 and the 3.3.0. Uh, 
uh, not yet the 4.0.0 because uh, as you uh, will see uh, during the presentation uh, it's still uh, under development uh, with huge um, changes uh, especially at the architectural uh, level so it is not yet ready i would say to 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 be released uh, and to be uh, shipped as a, a stable product um yes here there's a, a list of uh, the uh, releases of your notes since the, the the august 2010 um okay so which is the different difference between the the two branches uh, at least the three dot uh, x branches uh so the, as i said before the current stable, stable release is the 3.2.1 the stable branch is the 3.2.x that that will be uh, very soon that uh, they become very soon the 3.2.2 release uh, we here uh, try to uh, keep of course uh, the, 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 the product uh, as much as possible stable so we backport uh, only uh, major fixes uh, um, regressions blockers uh, or uh, translation so uh, something that uh, has been tested uh, or that do not impact uh, or do not change uh, even the, the, the development uh, and the code of your node in the uh, maintenance brands branch the 3.3.x that will become the the 3.3.0 release uh, we uh, are backporting also a uh, few of, of the um, of the most stable features well tested features uh, that uh, have been introduced uh, uh, in the development branch which is the 4.x uh, branch the master branch actually um, it, the, the architecture of the version 3.3 .3 is uh, backward compatibility combat compatible with the 3.2.x of course uh, so here you will have uh, not only the fixes uh, that have been backported to the 3.2.x but also uh, some new interesting features and improvements uh, uh, that uh, I'm going to, to show in the next uh, in the next slides okay so uh, let's start with some uh, warnings uh, some breaking changes uh, introduced uh, since the uh, uh, release 3.2.0 uh, which are of course are still present on the next releases um, so uh, the first one is the bump to uh, postgresql version 13 uh, so uh, whenever you uh, developed uh, uh, or deployed uh, your geo node uh, as an instance uh, by using docker uh, 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 on uh, an older version of postgresql uh, uh, you might uh, uh, need to make a dump uh, and restore of the database in order to switch to the to the newest version you can still use the old version not nothing prevents you to uh, keep using the old the old versions um, there, there's no issue uh, as far as, as far as i know uh, just be careful uh, uh, if you want to upgrade your node uh, to to this uh, breaking change uh, important breaking change um, the Mapster client uh, uh, version uh, have been aligned to the versions of the of your node so basically you will have uh, uh, with, by the way the Mapster client now it's the default client uh, GIS client uh, of your node so for the branch 3.2.x you will have uh, a, uh, a, a branch of Mapster client 3.2.x uh, and so on so each branch uh, has uh, its uh, corresponding branch uh, uh, on the mapster project this is because uh, uh, the mapster clients uh, uh, are not uh, uh, backward compatibility with the other versions so uh, you will need to keep using the same version associated to the to the to the version of your node um the base model uh, of the 3.2 uh, train 3.x 3 train and above 
has been changed. Uh, so the base model now introduces uh, a bounding box as a geometry, so as a spatial geometry. Uh, there are fixtures in uh, Django that allow to automatically convert uh, the old uh, resource bases uh, into the new geometry. Uh, but uh, you will need to be careful anyway because uh, there might be some issues, uh, hopefully not. But if you if you plan to upgrade, be, be careful to this uh, to, to this change to the model. Um, there was a general cleanup, uh, uh, mostly of, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, sadly, le things that uh, we had to remove because uh, uh, they weren't weren't supported since a long time. So basically, no one could could say uh, which was the status, uh, and most probably uh, they don't work with the newest version of Geonote. So. As a PSC, uh, we decided to uh, remove uh, the stuff from Geonode because just because uh, it, it, there, there was no support at all. So uh, it, it could create confusion uh, uh, to the community uh, and, uh, and potentially uh, also issues that we, we could not uh, uh, fix in any case. Uh, so we had to remove the support for G the Geo Network catalog for the QJS server and the SPC Geo node. Um, there were some adjustments to the advanced workflow. Uh, the advanced workflow of Geo node it's basically um, a set of settings that allow you to uh, take more control on how the resources uh, are published into the into the web framework so basically uh, you uh, con uh, put some constraint uh, on the registered users uh, so they they wh whatever they publish uh, must be uh, uh, must go through uh, an approval workflow workflow basically so uh, you will need a, a, a manager or some or some super user to validate the resource before uh, actually uh, making it public uh, to, to the other user so there were some uh, adjustment to, to the logic in particular um, the most imp the most important one is that uh, uh, whenever uh, a user publish uh, a new resource, uh, of course, and, and the advanced workflow is activated, uh, the, new res the, res the resource, of course, uh, uh, it's, it's not public, but uh, uh, the uh, uh, Geonode will automatically assign uh, some um, some editing rights, uh, some editing permissions, especially on the on the metadata, uh, also to the uh, managers uh, of the groups uh, uh, belonging to the user. Okay, so uh, Geonode will automatically uh, give to to those managers uh, the permissions to to edit the resource and so on. Uh, whenever uh, the resource uh, uh, will be approved. Uh, by a manager, uh, only uh, a super user can then publish the resource. At that point, in this stage, so from uh, approved to published, it won't be possible to edit the resource anymore. Uh, you will need to ask uh, for a permission to edit the resource. So uh, basically, your node will send uh, a message to the administrator. Uh, and uh, the administrator, in order to allow the user or, a man or the manager to publish, to edit the resource again, must uh, uh, unpublish or unapprove the resource back to the uh, previous stage. So th this is the main uh, change that uh, have been done to this, uh, to this uh, logic. Um, from the version 3.2.1, uh, there's, there's also uh, a major change that could uh, break somehow the current uh, deployments. Uh, and it is the introduction of salary bit and workers. 
So basically, it's, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's just a matter of changing uh, the configuration of the salary worker, uh, in, in particular the scheduler. Uh, instead of using the, uh, the the scheduler based on the file system, you will need to use the database one. So it's just a matter of changing uh, a parameter uh, when you start salary. Uh, okay, so uh, what are the main features of the new uh, release? Uh, there were a general uh, cleanup and speed up uh, of the code, uh, of the core. We focused uh, uh, on trying to remove as much as possible uh, uh, hard-coded stuff, uh, uh, try to uh, reuse as much as, as, much as possible some uh, object-oriented uh, uh, style of coding instead of uh, a huge scripting uh, 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 or, or big functions uh, uh, all uh, uh, developed in, or, or into the views of Django. So, uh, and also we uh, we put some uh, uh, hardening uh, uh, procedures in order to prevent uh, uh, or at least uh, uh, tell to the user where where an error is uh, and why the, the error happened instead of uh, just uh, uh, throwing an exception uh, here and there. Um, we, uh, in, in this new release, uh, the genera generator of the thumbnails uh, has been completely uh, refactored. So uh, before it was relying uh, on GeoServer, uh, so it, it was uh, consuming a lot of resource uh, uh, on the geospatial service. Uh, we removed this uh, custom module on GeoServer. So now GeoServer use pra in, in, practica, in practice uh, only uh, official modules uh, uh, of the GeoServer uh, packages. Uh, and the uh, thumbnail generation uh, is completely done uh, on, uh, at the Django level, at the GeoNode level. Uh, there, there are there are uh, a lot of improvements uh, for the thesauri and the controlled vocabularies. So now uh, you can import more uh, RDF-based uh, thesauri, and uh, uh, you can enable more uh, than one uh, thesauri uh, in order to allow the users to insert and search keywords directly from the thesauri and the vocabularies instead of the, just adding the free text keywords. There is also the possibility to uh, create some teams. So uh, as, a, as, a, as an instance, you can enable uh, Inspire-based thesauri uh, or a custom-based thesauri of uh, some other uh, kind. And uh, you will see on the interface uh, uh, the different uh, thesauri divide, divided uh, and grouped by, by category. Uh, there were a lot of improvements uh, at the documentation part, uh, thanks to Tony for this uh, big work. Um, and there, there, there are also a lot of improvements uh, on the permissions assignments. Uh, now it's also possible to provide permissions to the remote services resources. Uh, before, uh, it was not possible, basically. So w whenever you add a remote service resource, uh, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was not possible to change the permission on that resource. Now it is. Uh, the libraries have been updated. Uh, OK, just moving uh, a bit more quickly because we are running out of time. Um, OK, so this is the new. Uh, improved MapStore.js client. Uh, there are a lot of improvements, especially on the Visual Style Editor, but also there are a lot of options uh, for the map, a lot of tools, uh, and also the annota uh, some annotations that you can save on the map. Uh, there, uh, there, 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 are the, there is uh, a native language node now, uh, the possibility to create uh, those uh, uh, that, that we call GeoStories which are basically uh, a, a bit more than a map. It, it's, a, it's a way to uh, create uh, um, a, a storytelling by using uh, a mix of media, uh, static media contents uh, and uh, uh, the geospatial data. 
um, it is possible to uh, modify the output uh, directly from the engine or the interface of the get feature info template so basically you can um, assign you, you can turn uh, some properties uh, of, of the uh, of, of the geospatial data set into uh, images audio streams or video or, or uh, url links um, uh, okay. the, there is the, 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 a lot of improvements uh, uh, for what we call the REST APIs version 2. So basically, we uh, abandoned a bit the uh, old fashioned uh, API of Journal based on TastyPy, and we uh, introduced this new REST API based on uh, dynamic REST framework that allows us also to perform uh, complex filtering. Uh, uh, directly uh, through the uh, rest endpoints uh, a lot of improvements have been done to the upload part especially uh, on the asynchronous management of the uploads uh, which is much more stable now and uh, it is possible also to resume uh, some uploads so if, if you leave the page uh, you can resume uh, an upload uh, later on uh, so you, you won't lose uh the, the the data set that you just uploaded um <clears throat> there is the possibility to append data to the vectorial data set directly from the interface so uh, of course you need to use uh, a, com a schema compatible with the original one uh, but you all other than replacing completely uh, the vectorial data sets you can also append uh, 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 new uh, vectorial uh, features uh, uh, by uploading a shape file. Uh, there are some improvements to the representation of the legends, uh, especially on the maps. So you will see here uh, on the detail page and also on the map uh, uh, the legends of the layers of, of the overlays, overlays present on the map. Uh, what's new on the development branch? Uh, the architecture has been completely revised, uh, as I said before. Um, uh, we introduced uh, um, full, some fully uh, asynchronous uh, um, API interfaces to uh, what we call a resource manager. So basically, we centralized uh, at the way how you uh, configure the resources into your node. So instead of relying uh, uh, completely on the Django signals uh, like before. Now uh, there is a module uh, which is pluggable, of course, of course, and uh, <clears throat> that uh, that basically allows you to perform uh, any operation against uh, the resource. So basically, you can um, use this module not only to create, uh, update, or uh, delete a resource, but you can also use this module to ingest any resource. Uh, or to replace any resource or to append data to the resource. So uh, it's, it's a sort of cent centralized component that, uh, uh, that uh, includes all the logic to manage and handle the, the resource management. Um, uh, the, the client has been completely, the interface of Journal has been completely, completely revised. Uh, so basically now the Journal I'm speaking now of, of the development branch, so the journal version 4.x. Um, so the interface is basically a single page application. Uh, so you, you won't uh, need to change uh, page. Uh, you, 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 uh, the, the, the new client make uses uh, of the REST APIs in order to uh, perform operations uh, and ask to you know, to, to to filter the data sets to show the data sets and so on. Also, the operations uh, are uh, almost all asynchronous. So, uh, whenever you, as an instance, uh, try to let's say update or delete a resource, uh, you don't need to wait uh, that your node finishes uh, the operations. Uh, uh, the client just will uh, block. Uh, the resource will show you that the resource is currently uh, is, is going to be deleted or updated or something. 
and uh, when uh, it, it will finish, uh, the, the resource will be ready again. So you, you, and you can continue working in the meantime. Continue working in the meantime. Uh, and also, uh, they uh, have been introduced the dashboards. The dashboards is uh, it's another feature. Uh, it's a bit diff it's something di a bit different from a just story. A dashboard. It's it's uh, as the term say a dashboard. So you can basically uh, compose uh, on this dashboard, uh, compose on this dashboard uh, uh, elements uh, like uh, uh, maps, uh, widgets. Uh, counters, uh, charts of several type, uh, media contents, and so on. And that's it, I would say. Thank you okay. for the time. Thanks very much, uh, Alessio, for making us current. There are very uh, interesting uh, developments here. There were no questions on the, um, on the chat, uh, but I have, I have a question. You Talked about a new feature called Geo Stories. What is it called? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Basically, let me uh, let me show you quickly. Uh, as an instance, if you go to the stable your node uh, demo, there are a few examples of the, of those Geo Stories. So if you if you click on apps here. Uh, you can you can see a few examples of uh, what a just story is. Uh, it's basically a sort of um, uh, let's say um, um, storytellings that that go mm -hmm. from the uh, up to the bottom and allows you to to mix together uh, media content, static content, and dynamic content. Uh, uh, by using uh, not only the resources that have been uploaded and created into your node, but you, you can also use uh, external resource. So basically, you can uh, you can do something something uh, something like this. Uh, so basically, by scrolling down, uh, you can tell about uh, your project. Uh, you can show videos or what you have done mm -hmm. and so on describe the things and uh, zoom into the maps in order to show to the people what you have currently right. done and, and so on. Yeah. Very powerful. There's also kind of data journalism you can do and maybe <laughs> if I have like yeah. a couple of hikes with GPS tracks and photos, can 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 I make a, a geo story with that? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. You yeah. can uh, as I said before um you you have two choices uh, in order to in order to add the uh, contents to the just stories you can uh, either uh, upload the, uh, the resources directly uh, uh, into your machine through your node and now mm -hmm. your node by the way supports different types of media types so not not only static images uh, or uh, pdf or documents but also videos uh, audio files uh, stuff like that uh, and, and, and in that case, the just story uh, will uh, uh, bring automatically the content uh, from the uh, journal catalog. Otherwise, uh, you can link to the just story some external resources uh, taken from the web. Okay, that, that sounds very really good. Um, sorry to interrupt you. In the meantime, two questions came on the board. I'll, I'll, I'll show the, the first question. You can read it. Uh, can we manage raster time series data within GeoNode as a collection? Uh, so we have one minute. If no, is this planned for the future? OK, so uh, the, the, there was a functionality developed a long time ago for the raster time series, uh, which uh, was abandoned because uh, there were no support for that one. Currently, uh, for sure, it is possible by creating uh, the, the time series on your server and then uh, configuring uh, uh, the attribute time on your node. So uh, if, if you do that, uh, this, let's say, semi-automatic procedure, your node will, will, will be able to, su to, support, to support such kind of, uh, of data. Uh, it, it would be nice uh, to resume uh, this uh, old functionality that uh, basically uh, allow, uh, 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 back in the days, allowed you to uh, choose the time series 
uh, you know, during the upload phase, uh, you could choose the uh, time series time series that you want to update. Uh, so uh, basically, you could uh, directly add some granules automatically to an already existing image mosaic. Okay, uh, but thank you. I, I'm, I'm afraid I'm that sorry to interrupt you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. We were one minute over time, and there was a question yeah, sure. two times um, uh, asked, when will 4.0 uh, launch? Everyone's waiting for. Yeah, I can. Give us I a can, date. Can, yeah, no, I, can, I cannot, uh, cannot, res uh, cannot qu uh, respond now to this question because uh, this is mm -hmm. still uh, really unstable. So hopefully uh, at the beginning of, of the next year, but I cannot promise anything actually. <laughs> Sorry, <Of course. laughs> but but it's, so, it's it's usable. I mean, if you if you want, uh, you, you can use it. Okay, well, thanks again, uh, Alessio, and of course all the other uh, developers uh, of GeoNode. And uh, well, I'm, I'm eager to try out. Um, so. We'll uh, bring in the next uh, speaker. So thanks, and we'll, we'll talk uh, again. Bye.